God, before we ask for anything, we just want to say thank you. We look beyond our fault. So what we need, God. Thank you. Knowing that you didn't have to do it, but you did it. God, we thank you. Well, we realize that we are somebody. Thank you. Lord. Thank you, God. For who you are. God, we adore you in this place. We love you in this place. You are God and God alone. There is none like you in all the earth. God, we want to thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for your anointing. The anointing that destroys the yoke. God, we just want to set free. You've been so good to us. God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you right now for another opportunity to stand before you and your people. And God, now here I am, oh God, I pray now you give me what to say now, God. Anoint these lips of clay. Let me speak with power, boldness, and clarity in this house. And God, now hide me behind the cross. Will these your people see less of me and more of you? God, now let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, thy strength and thy redeemer. God, we thank you now for what you have already done and what you get ready to do. Jesus mighty name. Thank God. Amen. And amen. Come on. Amen. I love my point. 
all the light that's shining on me. It's shining from me. Thank you for saving me one day, filling me with this wonderful Holy Ghost. Glory yes, to God. I said, filling me with this wonderful Holy Ghost. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. I thank God that, amen, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Glory to God. Amen. I thank God for being a Christian, which is Christ like. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. If you drag on me today, I'm going to drag on you. All right. All right. All right. Glory to God. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be saved. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Amen. And, and I don't know about you, since I got saved, uh, I just don't do the stuff I used to do. Camera roll right there. Yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. I said, since I got saved. Yeah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Y'all, the Holy Ghost is real. Amen. When you get ready to say something, the Holy Ghost will tell you to hold your peace. Y'all talk back to me. I'll talk better to you. Glory to God. Amen. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. We live, amen, within, within us. Amen. There's a word. Amen. We thank God for eight years. Eight years. Glory to God. Amen. Eight years. Amen. I come, I come on today to try to lift this word up. Amen. I need your prayer. Amen. That's all right. Glory to God. And y'all throw up the white flag. Amen. Let me know if I'm too long. Amen. Well, there's a word found over in the, the book of Acts. A very familiar passage of scripture. Glory to God. And Bishop, I know you could have got anybody else to do this. Glory to God. I want to thank you. Amen. God bless you for this opportunity. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 16. Acts chapter 16. I'm going to show you what the church do when they get in trouble. Y'all, 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 I don't, I don't think you really can do it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Is this volume up enough? Can you get it? Yeah. I just want to make sure. Acts chapter 16, verse 16. When you have it, say amen. Standing for the reading of the word of God. Amen. Amen. When an unjust judge walks in, you'll have to stand. Hello, somebody. Why can we not stand with the word of God? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Acts chapter 16, verse 16. And I'll read to uh, the Lord. Thank you. 
And it came to pass as we went to pray. A certain dancer was possessed with a spirit. The divine nation met us, which brought her master much gain by soothsaying. Come on, Adam. Come on, Adam. Good God Almighty. Come on. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which show unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days, but Paul being grieved, good God Almighty. And Paul being grieved, oh Lord, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of her. And he came out the same hour. Let me let me skip over here. Verse 23, and, and when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safe. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Uh -huh. Who having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stars. Come on. Uh -huh. And Woo. at midnight, Come on, Richard. Come on, Somebody just say midnight. Midnight. Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. So that the foundation of the prisons was shaken. Tell you, they were every night then. Things need to be shaken up. And immediately all the doors were open. And everyone's hands were loose. And the keeper of the prison awakened out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoner had been fleeing. But the church cried out, Y'all ain't open. But Paul cried out with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light, and sprang in it and came trembling and fell down before Paul in silence. And brought them out and said, Sir, what must I do to be saved? You may be saved. Glory, hallelujah. God bless you all so you may be seated. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just for a little while, just for a little while. I want to talk about God still open doors. God still. God still open doors. God bless you. Amen. I want y'all to walk with me just for a little while. Is that all right? Amen. Because we get ready to go somewhere. Glory to God. God still open doors. My brothers and sisters, here in our text today, we have Dr. Luke, the physician, shared with us that one day as him and Paul, Silas, and Timothy was going down to the place of prayer. They were going down to the place of prayer by the river. The Bible lets us know that they were interrupted and being interrupted by a certain Desma who was possessed with a spirit of divination. Come on now, talk to us, man. Uh, she was a demon possessed slave girl who yes, was a fortune teller. And the Bible lets us know, I'm, I'm not going to quit that there, bro. Just give me a few more minutes, I can't. She, she was possessed, a possessed slave girl, and, and earned lots of money for her. For her masters. Her master was using her for their own 
Self gain. Come on, sir. This young slave girl who was demon possessed was interrupting the missionary as they make their way to prayer. Come on, sir. And the truth of the matter is today the enemy make it his business to interrupt us whenever we want to pray and whenever we come to the house of prayer. Uh, somehow, some way, the enemy do just enough to get us off track. The enemy would do just enough to get on our nerve. Anybody know what I'm talking about today? I mean, just think about it. The time you make it up in your mind that you're going to be at church on time. Some unexpected guest drop by and all of a sudden they want to talk. A husband and wife. Somebody can say something and somebody got a misunderstanding. And now you come to the church house all upset. Oh, kids can lay out their clothes at night time. And wake up in the morning, the clothes is too small. <laughs> Ladies, you can buy a brand new pair of stock. In time, you put it on, a wrong is from here and there. Time, I want to pay my tithes. Something come up to work. Y'all ain't ready. Yeah. Well, my brothers and my sisters, you must understand today uh, the enemy know how to show up uh, and interrupt you. The Bible lets us know and said this girl followed Paul and the others. Uh, shouting these men are the servants of the most high God. They're telling you how you can be saved. And you must understand that they Paul grieve at this little girl. And you must understand what she said was true. But Paul knew better than to accept a testimony from demons. Uh, uh, my brothers and my sisters, uh, if Paul accepted demon word, uh, he would appear to be linking the gospel with demons uh, related activity. Uh, and brothers and sisters, you must understand today uh, with such association uh, would damage the message of Christ. Uh, and Paul was going to make sure that the demon didn't get no glory. Why? Because all of the glory belongs. Come on. Uh, belong to God. Uh, my brothers and my sisters shouting, these are the servants of the most high God uh, who's telling you the way to be saved. Uh, evidently, this young girl followed them every day uh, to the place of prayer. Uh, and you must understand the day the enemy came in with you today. Come on. Uh, each and every day, this girl followed them to prayer and whatever they went uh, and the Bible says she kept this up for many days y'all I'm going somewhere she kept it up for many days uh, the servant girl was annoying Paul and Silas uh, disrupting the ministry and Bishop do you not know the devil have folks set up right now uh, just to annoy you in your ministry all in the world right now uh, brothers and my sisters uh, it interrupted them uh, it frustrated them uh, Paul became so much trouble uh, that he directly rebuked that spirit uh, that was abusing that little girl uh, the Bible said Paul turned uh, and spoke to that spirit I need to put a pen right there uh, because we need to understand today uh, when folks is acting crazy, yeah, you act crazy sometimes. Uh, when folks is acting crazy, uh, when folks is acting out of their character, when folks have a bad days, uh, folks have bad attitudes, uh, folks mind us confused, uh, folks become discouraged, uh, folks speak to you one Sunday and next Sunday they act like they don't know who you are. It's not the It was a spirit in that girl, uh, and those same type of spirit uh, getting the dust of me uh, as well as children. Somebody wave your hand, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you must understand uh, it was not that person, uh, but it was that spirit. Uh. Paul said, We wrestle not against flesh and blood, uh, but against principality, uh, against power and rule of 
of darkness uh, of this world, uh, spiritual wickedness uh, in high places. Uh, you must understand today uh, we got men and women of God uh, stand every Sunday right now. Uh, you think they have the spirit of God? Uh, there's no spirit of God in them. Uh, they just a wicked folks standing up in there all right you must understand today uh, there was a spirit inside of that girl. Uh, we got to learn how to stop fighting one another uh, and start watch this uh, and start respecting one another. We got to stop fighting one another uh, and start speaking to that spirit uh, that causes us to act the way we do. Uh, we must understand that day. Uh, the Bible lets us know. Y'all uh, get ready to go some way. Uh, the Bible said Paul turned uh, and spoke to that spirit. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, he used a powerful name. Uh, I wish I had some help right there. Paul said to the spirit. Uh, I command thee. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, to come out of uh, her. At that moment. Uh, that spirit left. Uh, he said in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, your name don't have no power. Oh my God. Uh, your name don't have no power. Uh, in the name of Jesus. You must understand that they are at the name of Jesus. Deep with sugar. All the Bible said at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue all in the about 15 more minutes here. The Bible lets us know they became very upset. They caught Paul and Silas. Dragged him into the prison. Into the marketplace. Before the authorities. And put them on trial. Oh my God. And what's so bad about it. They weren't arguing about the young girl being restored. They weren't arguing about the young girl being set free. They weren't arguing about the young girl being delivered. But they were infuriated uh, that the business venture uh, all was ruined. Uh, everything had played out. Uh, and I think I need to help somebody here today. Uh, I need to put a pin right here. They got mad brothers and sisters uh, because they couldn't use the girl up anymore. Let me go ahead and stand tall real quick. Uh, and young ladies, you need to understand today uh, that some guys out there don't cut nothing about you. All they want to do is use you up. Uh, I wish I had some help right there. Uh, they just want to use you up. Uh, coming over for a one night stand. Taking you out for a cheeseburger and some juju. Uh, I Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Let nobody use you. Uh, uh, brother Bobby and Sister Nobi BT got upset uh, because they couldn't use her anymore. Uh, that master is not mad. Uh, oh, my brothers and my sisters, uh, because the money making days was over. Uh, oh, do you not know the devil got upset when you came out of darkness? Uh, yeah. Oh, to the problem. And you know it's sad when folks care more about their own economics, yeah. uh, well-being than the glory of God, uh, and the salvation of a lost soul. Uh, you got folks like that right now. Uh, they don't care nothing about you. Uh, all they want is your money. Uh, and they go about their business. All they want is your money. Glory to God. Uh, the master is now upset. Uh, brothers and sisters, they brought Paul and Silas uh, to the Roman ruler and said, these or making trouble in our city. I'm getting ready to get out of here. They're making trouble in our city. They're causing an uproar in our city. Teaching things that are not right for us and women to do, my brothers and sisters. You must understand these guys twisted the truth. Twisted uh, ways. I'm doing the best I can. The Bible said, watch this. Uh, the month or two rolls up together against Paul and Silas. Uh, oh, folks, uh, my brothers and sisters, folks know how to come together when it's time to stir up mess. They can be at all against one another, but when it's time to stir up mess, uh, they know how to play it together. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, uh, they came together. And brothers and sisters, you have to be careful believing everything that folks say. Because one thing I found out, uh, folks know how to twist the truth uh, and have you involved in something uh, that you have no clue about. Uh, folks know how to break something to you uh, and you have no clue about it. Uh, they know how to twist the truth uh, and so it can fit them. Uh, and half of the time, the main problem uh, is all of them. Uh, and they're hot, y'all, they ready right now. Uh, they know how to twist the truth uh, to make it fit. And we live in the day and time now. Uh, preachers can get up and preach the word of God uh, and twist. They twist the truth. The Bible and the Bible said uh, the city official tore off Paul and Silas' clothes, uh, stripped them, uh, and commanded to beat them uh, with wooden rods. Uh, I wish I was there. They beat them with wooden rods. Uh, and you must understand these rods was wooden poles uh, bound together uh, and carried by these officials uh, used to beat offenders. Uh, glory to God. Uh, and my brothers and sisters, after they gave them a severe beating, uh, the Bible said they threw them in prison. <sighs> Throw them in prison. Uh, and the jailer was ordered to guard them carefully. God them securely. Perhaps they heard the stories about how uh, God mysteriously came in uh, and and freed some of his own men of God. Uh, they must have heard about how the angel came in uh, good God Almighty, and freed Peter. The angel came on in uh, and told Peter uh, to put on your shoes. Uh, Y'all didn't read. They must have heard about how God delivered them. But somehow or another, the jailer was put under a maximum security, placing them in an environment of uh, cell fast and watch this. Uh, the feet it stopped. Uh, they couldn't go no place. Uh, and my brothers and my sisters, uh, Paul and Silas, uh, they in a deep place, uh, a dark place. Uh, they in a dungeon. Uh, they in a dangerous place. Uh, and if any of have the right word, he wants them. Uh, good God, mighty. Oh, let me slow down here. Uh, the enemy got them. 
the right work he wanted. Uh, and you must understand that they, uh, the devil must have triumphed uh, and said, I done closed down uh, everything they're going to do. Uh, the devil done triumph right now. Uh, and just like you and I, uh, the devil, when you think he got you where you were, he just triumphed. Uh, look what I Look what I've done, uh, and you must understand today. Uh, that's what the enemy wants you at, uh, in a place where you're locked up, uh, tied up, uh, broken up, uh, and he'll come and try to steal your joy. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, uh, you must understand today. Uh, the enemy don't want you smiling. Uh, the enemy don't want you laughing. Uh, the enemy don't want you rejoicing. Uh, the enemy don't want you less. Uh, he know if he can steal your joy, he can steal your praise. I wish I had some help right now. He knows he can steal your joy. He can steal your praise. And you got to know how to talk back to the devil. And let the devil know you can't have my joy. Because the joy of the Lord is my sin. You got to let the devil know you can't have my joy. Because this joy that I have, the world didn't get it. And the world They in stock tied up and nowhere to go. Anybody ever been in a situation like that? They're bruised, they're beaten, and they're blooded, and they're battered. And the question is, what did they do? In a place where it seemed like no hope, did they moan? No. Did they whine? Did they play in God? Did they give up? No. The answer is no. The Bible said, y'all, y'all, uh, let me get the show now. They didn't give up. The Bible said they were marked by two things. They were marked by two things. About midnight. Paul is silent. They prayed and say praise unto God. Yeah. They pray and sing praises unto God. Yeah. They didn't sing no little weight wing. Uh-huh. They didn't sing no two pop support. Uh-huh. They didn't sing no fit to sit. They didn't sing no big and small. We got two in the phone call on the Christmas. Still listen to the same old
got to understand that the world is watching us. My brothers and my sisters, Paul, Paul and Silas were stripped and beat up and placed in scum in the inner cell. You must understand the inner cell was the dark cell. Good God, my, it's amazing when the enemy wants you out, he wants you out. Oh my God, he put you way back there. What he think you can't get out there. But I tell you, when God is on your side, no matter what the enemy tries to do, he can't stop what God has for you. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, uh, they were back there in the inner cell. Uh, but in spite of the dismal situation, uh, they praised God anyhow. Uh, and I wonder if there's any anyhow folks in here today. Uh, you can still praise God because of what you're going through. Uh, I wish I had my 10 people in the house. Uh, but I have my 10 people in the house. You understand what you're going through right now.
the building wouldn't even destroy. The door. See, when God is shaking you, he running to God. Wake up after the earthquake. 